hello everyone welcome to another interesting video so in this video we'll explore uh, opti system this is a very interesting tool this is actually a system simulation software it helps to simulate like a overall architecture of our designs so for example let's say you have designed a photonic crystal or let's say photonic crystal fiber or some sensor and you want to check how the pulse will propagate through that fiber right and assume that the fiber is of length of let's say 10 meter how does the pulse actually propagate uh, this kind of simulation you can do in opti system uh, this is one of the example a better example could be like 5g communication system some uh, algorithms and so on so Basically, OptiSystem is an advanced software tool developed by OptiWave for uh, designing, testing, and simulating optical communication system. It plays a crucial role in both industry and research, but the design of optical system is key element in the development of modern uh, communication technology. The interface is quite simple, so you have like these components that you can drag and place along the interface. It's more like if you have used Simulink or uh, similar tools. So each of the component have functionality. So for example, assume that you have laser on one side, then it is passing through some fiber and then you are observing how it spreads and so on. So this is how it works. So let us briefly uh, just test uh, with an example. Okay. So this is the overall interface. You can see like it's quite simple. And here you have the list of components that you can drag and drop. So let me just create a new file. So for example, you can go to transmitter. Let's say you want to add a pulse. So you can add like an optical pulse generator and you can add like a pulse uh, this way. So basically this will act as a Gaussian pulse generator. And you can always double click and uh, set up the different settings of this pulse generator right so i'll just open this example so this is one of the example from their application library so what it does is uh, at first as an input it has a pulse right and then we have a pcf that is a photonic crystal fiber now if i double click it will show the different properties the reference wavelength the length of the fiber and also here you can add the dispersion of the fiber so for example let's say you do a photonic crystal fiber uh, simulation in a matlab console or any other tool let's say lumerical or even in uh, optiweb's own uh, software so optifiber or something so you can calculate the dispersion and you can uh, put the dispersion and the second order or higher order dispersion in the parameter and there are different uh, parameters as well, such as birefringence and so on. There are nonlinearities, uh, N2 data, and so on. So there are a ton of uh, numbers that you can actually put to get a more realistic result. But mostly, you have to put the dispersion because it will play an important role in the pulse propagation. So this is how you set up the settings. So it is quite simple. And then if you run the simulation, you will get the result. So let me just run this. So this is your example. So to run the simulation, what you do, you can click on this calculate button and it will show some pop up. So by default, you can just click on run and it will generally show like a log what what kind of calculation it is doing. And then uh, generally it should be done. So you just click on this cross now. This is the dual port optical spectrum analyzer. So let us open this. So let us click on power double view. So this is basically will plot the double view. So you can see there are two lines. So one is the input signal. This is this one. And the other one is the signal that is coming out of the PCF. Okay. Now I can just auto scale it and click on double view so you can see that this is the input signal it is like a pulse and then what happens after it passes through the fiber so you can also do this by 
adding components so I'll show you for example if I go to the uh, visualizer where is it yeah so it's optical signal so I want to check the optical time domain so I want to visualize this and then again I want to add optical domain visualizer so I need to rerun the simulation to get this value okay so I'll just run the simulation again so this is the input signal so you can see I can just use my cursor to drag and this is the output signal so I can just plot the logarithmic scale so you can see what happens to the pulse uh, after it passes through the fiber so let us reduce the length of the fiber and see uh, how we are getting the change so I'll just add an extra zero okay and then I'll try to run the simulation and see how the super quantum generation is actually working so if I open this so now you see that the difference between the input and the output signal actually got reduced so if I try to observe the double view here so let me just reduce the distance further so I'll just write 7 so it is even smaller right now let us run the simulation so you can see that now the pulse is like this so as you can see as I increase the length so let me increase the length now uh, I'll just make this 5 now we should get like some noisy spectra here so since we are increasing the length it is taking some time to simulate by the way this is really a powerful tool uh, if you are working on optics so if you are used to device modeling such as a photonic sensor and so on and you want to do a system level simulation so in that case this could be really useful so as you can see as i increase the length to very high value uh, we are getting actually this kind of power uh, view of the input and the output signal before and after the pcf so this was an example by the way there are a ton of examples so i can show you a few of them so if i go to examples so you can see there are like so many examples um, so let's open something related to multi-mode so here we have our battle angular momentum mode let's uh, let's try with this so this is one of the example for multi-mode communication system using lg modes so you must be aware that uh, in multi-mode fiber this for example uh, this fiber can be simulated in console or any other similar tool and you can plug in the values of this multi-mode fiber such as the dispersion and all this data of the fiber and then you can use it to actually model the communication architecture of the system so basically basically uh, what is happening is uh, we have a laser and then the mode is being generated here and then the signal is distributed into two channels and here there is a demultiplex of the different modes and then we have the modulator of the uh, data the data is being modulated and then we have this uh, multi-mode fiber through multi-mode fiber it is traveled and then it is uh, divided again with respect to different modes and then using a special optical receiver we are getting the result so let me open another example just to demonstrate uh, the examples here so here we again have like dispersion compensation so let me just open this example 
so similarly here is a different example of a setup so if i run this as you can see it takes like only a few seconds and you can observe the bar analysis as well as the eye diagram so all this uh, you can actually see after you have done the simulation and it is actually very easy to learn uh, you can just follow the documentation as well as the help so for example if you just right click and click on component help so you have this uh, help page which will help you to understand about the different components so this is how you work with OptiSystem. I think this introduction video will help you to get started. And of course you have like free trial uh, options available. So you can just click the link in the description and just try their free trial. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead.